Israeli military strikes across the Palestinian Gaza Strip killed at least 61 people in the space of 48 hours, medics said on Saturday. Eleven months into the war, numerous rounds of diplomacy have so far failed to clinch a ceasefire deal, something many Israelis are blaming Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for, like Zahiro Shahar Moor. The blood of the murdered hostages is on Netanyahu's hands. Their lives could have been saved through any of the many deals he sabotaged. The lives of some of the hostages can still be saved, but Netanyahu is Mr. Death. Anti-government protesters and hostage families came together to urge the government to bring the hostages home and quote-unquote seal the deal. On Saturday night in Tel Aviv, several protesters were taken away by security forces as demonstrators gathered around a large bonfire holding placards and waving Israeli flags. Venezuelan intelligence services have been waiting outside the Argentina's ambassador's residence after... The government revoked Brazil's permission to represent Argentine interests in the country, including overseeing the embassy where six opposition members are sheltering. The decision, the decision takes effect, quote-unquote, immediately due to apparent evidence that the embassy was allegedly being used to plan assassination attempts against President Nicolas Maduro and the vice president. Brazil expressed surprise at the move while Argentina condemned it. Both Brazil and Argentina called on Maduro to adhere to the Vienna Convention on Diplomatic Relations. For more news and expanded coverage, head to our website, voanews.com, 24 hours a day. This is VOA News. A proposed resolution asks the United Nations to plan for U.N. peacekeepers to replace Kenya-led police mission in Haiti. AP correspondent Rika Ann Garcia reports. The United States and Ecuador have put forward a draft resolution asking the United Nations to start planning for a new peacekeeping operation in Haiti. This would replace the current mission led by Kenya to help local police in tackling gang violence. The proposed Security Council resolution obtained by the AP AP says that UN peacekeepers are needed to maintain the progress made by the current multinational mission. This mission has already sent nearly 400 Kenyan police officers to assist the Haitian National Police. But many Haitians have rejected the proposal of another peacekeeping operation, given the introduction of cholera and sexual abuse cases that occurred when UN troops were last in Haiti. I'm Rika Ann Garcia. More information about the Georgia school shooter's past with taunting at school has been revealed. AP correspondent Julie Walker reports. Georgia teen Colt Gray, charged with fatally shooting four people at his high school Wednesday, was interviewed by a Jackson County investigator in May 2023 about whether he made an online threat on Discord. I promise I would never say something like that. So you haven't used Discord? At the time, the then 13-year-old said he was hacked. In the same 2023 interview, investigators asked his dad, Colin Gray about keeping guns in the house and if he knew about a school shooting threat, which he denied. All the guns will go away. The dad said he spoke to his son about safety. All the school shootings, things that happen. Yeah, all, scary. Hey, are you getting picked on at school? He is. He's getting picked on at school. The father is also charged in the deaths of the two students and two teachers. I'm Julie Walker. Boeing's first astronaut mission is finally over. Details from VOA's Tommy McNeil. NASA judged their return too risky and booked SpaceX to bring the astronauts home. That will not happen until next year, more than eight months after they launched on Starliner. They were supposed to be away for just eight days, but thruster trouble and helium leaks marred their trip to the space station back in June. Starliner landed on autopilot six hours after departing the orbiting lab. Tommy McNeil, VOA News. Algerian presidential candidates voted on Saturday in an election where the military-backed president, Abdul Majid Taboun, is expected to secure another five-year term. Taboun faces a moderate Islamist and a secular opposition candidate, but neither strongly challenges the military's influence. A win for Taboon would likely continue Algeria's focus on boosting energy exports, making limited pro-business reforms, and maintaining subsidies and strict control over dissent.
Thank you for watching. Can you do me a favor? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. That would really help. Thank you and see you again soon.